so hello guys welcome to this video so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create github repository and push the code from the intellij id so if you're ready let's get underway with it and now here i have to go to first of all github.com and then right here we have to create the new repository and then from here you can create a new repository and then just after clicking the new repository button right here you have the uh, the setup window and there here you, you can enter the repository name let's say since we are just carrying out let's say the, our experiment since I'm showing you how you can cr create github repository and connect it to the IntelliJ ID maybe it is just uh, let's say some it can be any name but here maybe let's say it's going to be rabbit because here maybe it's it's just for experimental rabbit and then here even if you want you can provide optional description and here you can choose whether you want to make the repository public or private but in my case I wanted to I wanted to make it private and then here they are asking me whether I can initialize the readme file or not so so far let, let's say I don't need I don't need the readme file and then I will just create the repository and when you hit the create repository button so here as you can see that we have just created new repository which is totally empty and if you want to initialize this new repository you can follow these commands but uh, these commands which are shown here but it is not that uh, difficult and also they are saying that if you want to push the repository from the command line so here let's say if you have any other repository here this means that you can use this command and then you can push it to this let's say um, github repository that, but anyways we will be doing everything so here we will be following this command and then right here choose the ssh or H if you have established or if you have created ssh key and added to the github you just choose the second option and then now as i said we will be pushing the code from the intellij id so here now i have just opened the intellij id and then i will choose this let's say new project and then here as let's say the java project it's going to be let's say java project and then hit enter and then so as you can see this uh, default or the new project is getting created and then i will maximize the window so here as you can see right now we have this uh, java project and then with the main.java file and if i run this project as you can see right now here, here we have this output the, so basically this code written here is getting executed and right now here now i'm going to open the terminal and here if you are wondering why my terminal is looking different than yours so here you can check it from here if you go to settings and right here you will have this tools window and right here you will have terminal and then here as you can see right now this shell path you, you can use either PowerShell, CMD or the let's say bash and uh, also if you do not see this bash you can use cmd since when and you have to make sure that when you install the git bash you you should add you i mean you added this git bash to the path so that you will be able to run the commands from the cmd as well and then since i have already chosen the bash and then i can cancel this and right now here the this is not any repository so right now what i'm gonna do is let's say i have to create local repository and then if i ch uh, in order to create the local repository you type git init so git init and then as you can see right now we have the local repository with the main branch name master and then here if you check the git status it shows you all the ch uh, tracked or uh, changes which are being untracked by the git and then here as you can see it says that you have this git ignore file idea this folder and then also you have this iml file and also source folder this means that this git is not tracking and then in order to track those files first you have to uh, first of all we have to rename the branch because it's master and by default the main default branch in the github is repository is the main that's why we have to rename it for which you have to type git main git uh, branch git branch m main and then hit enter and then if you check as you can see right right now this master branch has been changed to main branch and then uh, we check this git status as, it, as i said and then we have this many files we, we have these files which uh, haven't been added to git yet for which we have to add them in order to uh, track those files by git uh, and then now we have to commit so git commit git commit m and then so here let's say this id files or you can write any message you want and then so here if you check the git status now these files uh, git so git status and as you can see these files have been added and then there is nothing to commit and then we have to add the remote so git remote git we have to connect this 
let's say the IntelliJ ID local repository to the remote repository for which you have to type git remote at origin and then right here we have to copy this SSH and then paste it here and then just hit enter and then if you check the remote so let's say we can check the remote with this command and as you can see we can carry out fetch and then we can carry out push commands uh, push operations using this remote repository so here to the report rep remote repository and then now we have just successfully established the communication between the local repository and the global github repository but here the problem is that we cannot push the code directly uh, because here the problem is that if you go to the settings here in the IntelliJ ID settings and then right here you have the version control and if you check this github right here as you can see we haven't added our github account this means that we haven't authorized this IntelliJ ID to make changes to the github repository and in order to make this so here because uh, when you uh, try to push the code to the remote repository or when you try to push all these files from here to the uh, github repository the IntelliJ ID or the github asks to authenticate yourself that's why uh, when you try to authenticate with login and password it may cause some problems that's why the uh, the easier or the some let's say the fancy way of doing this uh, might be creating tokens so for which you have to go to the settings and then right here you have the developer settings and then from here you have the personal access token and then choose token classic and then from here just uh, click on this drop down menu and here you have the generate new token and then here you can name it whatever you want or let's say this let's say it is going to be temporary temporary token and then after this one here you have to tick this ocean options so basically these are the options or the rights which we are giving uh, to the user who is using this token and then for instance uh, we are th this means that with with the help of this token they will be able to delete repository write discussions and then something like this so we have to click all the let's say options and then here generate token and then when you generate token you have to make sure that uh, here also it's mentioned you have to make sure that you will be able to copy this token somewhere else securely and then because next time when you visit this page you will not be able to see this token so just copy the token and go ahead and then here click plus icon login via token and then paste the token and then here add account and as you can see my github account has been I mean, we have successfully established communication, or we authorized this IntelliJ ID to make the changes of the to make the changes to the GitHub repository, which is included in this GitHub account. And now click OK. And now, since we committed all the uh, messages and then uh, committed all the changes, now we, it is time to push this code. So git push. And when you are pushing it for the first time, you have to set the upstream. So here, uh, in order to set the upstream, you have to use this u tag and then git push origin main and then just hit enter and now here it says that the changes have been successfully pushed to the github repository and now here we are gonna check this repository and then as you remember earlier it was the rabbit repository and right now we have this uh, repository where we let's say pushed all the changes and then here for instance in the source folder we have the let's say main.java file and now here let's say we can even create readme file in order to create readme file here you can use the command called touch readme.md and then right here we have this readme file for instance let's say here it can be the description description of the description description of the project and then just save the file and then here if i check git status as you can see this means that we have this uh, file which is not being tracked by git and also apart from that we have the file which has been modified so here we have the edit so git add and then the reason why i'm using this git add dot it adds all the unedited files and then for instance if you want you can use the separate command git add readme so like readme.md but uh, in order to add all of them you just use git add and then after this one you use git commit with the message let's say readme file file has been added hit enter and then if you check the now it's time for pushing git push origin main so this is the branch and here as you can see when i'm pushing something for the second time uh, i'm not using this u tag and just hit uh, enter and then if you update this repository 
So here, as you can see, now we can see this repository with the readme file included. And then also, so here, this is what we wrote in the readme file. So this is how you create a GitHub repository and connect it to the IntelliJ ID as well as secure or the established communication between IntelliJ ID and the GitHub repository. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments regarding the future or upcoming videos, please let us know what kind of videos you want to have in this channel. And thank you so much for, thank you so much for watching.